Hi Paddle Drivers, how are you doing? I'm Gonzalo, the coach of Rocket Paddle Bristol and today we have a very special video because we're going to be answering the biggest question in Paddle. What side should I be playing in? So we are here in the whiteboard, I have with me my pen and the first question that we have to ask is, are you a lefty or are you a right-handed player? If you are a lefty, we have two possibilities. The first one is that you are playing with another lefty and the other one is that you are playing with a right-handed player. If you are playing with a right-handed player, congratulations, this is a super good combination because you're going to be playing on this side, okay, and your partner is simply going to be playing on this side. If you are a lefty and you are playing with another lefty, Wrong combination, my friend. You're going to go back to this stage and you're going to try to find another partner that hopefully is right-handed. And then we go to the other side of the whiteboard. So you can be playing with a lefty if you are a right-handed player or you can be playing with another right-handed player. If you are playing with a lefty, again, congratulations. This is the holy grail of paddle because you are going to be playing on the left and your partner is going to be playing on the right. Super important here, this is like a unicorn, okay? If you find a partner that is good and is a lefty, marry him or marry her, okay? No, but tomorrow I'm playing with Sarah or with Juan. No, don't let them, okay? Because if they find a better partner than you, they will forget about you. You need them. Okay, right-handed player with another right-handed player. Here, guys, we have three different possibilities. You are better than your partner, you are both equally bad, and you are worse than your partner. If you are better than your partner, you are going to be playing on the left and your partner is going to be playing on the right, okay? If you are worse, the other way around. You're going to be playing on the right and your partner is gonna be playing on the left. And if both of you are equally bad, this is a clear case of head or tails, okay? You toss a coin and then you decide which side you're going to be playing. And super important, guys, okay? Paddle drive advice. Forget all this because you should play on both sides. Very important. You should be able to play on both sides. Okay, so now we're going to break it down. We have here court one of Rocket Paddle Bristol, and we said that the ideal combination is that this player is a lefty, and this player here is a righty. Why? Really good question. Because, okay, this is a paddle racket. So when the other team lobas in the center, we are both going to have our forehand in the middle. This is super important, okay, because all the overheads are going to be really well covered. However, if this guy here was a righty, okay, whenever they lob him here, he has the backhand. So he is very sad, okay, because he cannot play the bandeja. Okay, guys, so now we're going to jump to the real court to see this into more detail. So I'm going to grab my racket. I'm going to go to this side of the court. And if you remember, we said that the ideal combination is to have a lefty playing on the right because if you see, now this player has the forehand in the middle, so he will be able to take care of all these shots with a bandeja. But at the same time, the player on this side is going to be a right-handed, so he will be able to play the bandejas from all these different positions. And now the question is, okay, what's happening when they love us to the center of the court? So we're going to go back to the whiteboard to explain this because it's super important, okay? So again, I'm going to draw my court super quickly. I have a lefty. A right-handed player here, okay, my stickman ready to play, okay, and this player is going to have the racket here, this player is going to have the racket here, so what happens when they love us to the center? The answer is, depends on who's loving from the other team. So, if the love is coming from the uh, player playing on the right, okay, it's going to be for the lefty. However, if the love comes from the player on the left is going to be for the right-handed player. So as you see, it's cross-court, okay? Whenever this guy is loving, lefty. Whenever this guy is loving, right-handed. Super important. Okay, so what happens 
in the other scenario, when we are two right-handed players, okay, like for example, when I'm playing with Tomas, my editor, or like most of you, when you are playing with your friend, okay? So this time, right-handed, right-handed, my stickman ready to play again, okay. The important thing here is that now this player has the backhand in the center, okay? So the important thing is that the player on the left is going to help him or help her with three quarters of the court, okay? This player is going to be responsible for taking the bandejas of this space as well, because if we lob to this player in the left uh, shoulder, now he's very sad because he cannot play a good bandeja. We're gonna see this again in the court, okay? I'm a right-handed player this time, I'm playing on the right, I'm the Neno, okay? And whenever I get a lob on this area of the court, I'm super happy because I can play a really good bandeja. However, when they lob me to the left shoulder, I'm in a really uncomfortable position because the only thing that I can play really is a gancho. And you should be asking, but maybe I want to play a high backhand volley here. That's a terrible shot, okay? That should never happen. Instead, your partner here that is gonna be a right-handed is gonna come all this way to help you with that shot, okay? Remember, right-handed and right-handed, the player on the left is going to cover a little bit more the center, okay? Around three quarters of the court. Super important. So what did we say that when we have two right-handed players, the best one should play on the left? As we explained, this player is gonna cover three quarters of the court. So if we were placing the best player on the right, it would be very easy for our opponents to avoid this player, okay? They would be playing the entire game to the bad player that is on the left, and this one cannot escape from the fritz. And the most important question of this video, why you should be able to play on both sides? The number one reason is that most players want to play on the left. So if you are able to play on the right, you are going to get invited to more games, and at the same time, you will be able to play higher level games because the best players will want to play on the left. And the second one reason is because you will never understand paddle completely if you don't know how to play on both sides because the directions are completely different, the game styles are completely different, and you need to be able to know how to cover the center from both sides. So, really recommend to be able to play on the right and on the left. Gonzalo, what about two lefties? <laughs> paddle drivers, if you want to take your paddle to the next level, make sure that you subscribe, turn on the notifications button, and like this video for more cool paddle content. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Vamos!